Carmelos. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aquarius. All right. King of Wands, Five of Pentacles, the Sun, the Death card, Temperance. King of Wands, Five of Pentacles, the Sun, Death, Temperance. This is a transformation. This is either you or somebody that you know. I feel like with this King of Wands in this particular deck, this King of Wands looks like they're for sure ready to take action. Um, this card, this person looks like they're a little bit aggressive. Uh, um, maybe even angry because this person's fist is balled up. I feel like right now somebody is with the Five of Pentacles here. Getting into this more bold, assertive energy where they want to take charge because maybe they have experienced some type of loss. Uh, I just heard theft. Somebody could have stolen something from a person with the sun car being here. Somebody could have tried to steal something from someone um, that was gifted to them as a child. This could be an inheritance with the pentacles here. Definitely could be something around money. Um, now, this is very specific as well. Um, somebody here could be dealing with a financial situation that has to do with children. This could be child support or anything. But with the death card being here, of course, eclipse energy that we're in right now, death card is it's an ending, okay? Uh, endings bring about new beginnings. It's a rebirth. It's a transformation. And then you have here the temperance card with the king of wands and the temperance out here. This could be um, Sagittarius. I have Scorpio, Leo energy, so somebody could have any of those or all of those um, particular signs in their chart. Take it however it resonates. But there is a transformation that's taking place for somebody to go into this energy of having some kind of peace, balance, and harmony after being left out in the cold. Remember, energy is full. This king of wands could be a woman. Okay? Could be anybody. The tower is in the reverse. Yeah, so there's the, the, the tower in the reverse there's an ending here that you cannot avoid. Heavy, heavy Scorpio Sagittarius energy. This is the second card of, of Scorpio. So Scorpio Sagittarius season, we're, we're going into Scorpio season. And then after that, the Sagittarius season. Okay. Scorpio season is going to perhaps bring in more peace, balance, and harmony for some people. When does Scorpio season start? Scorpio season officially begins on October 23rd. Okay. So... You're looking at, you know, a little over a week. And then there's going to be a full moon, which is going to be a partial lunar eclipse. Like I said, this is eclipse season. So, and today's, um, I think they're calling like the, the ring of fire solar eclipse that took place today. So it's interesting with this fire energy. You have here Sagittarius, um, Leo Aries Sagittarius could be, Prominent in someone's chart. Let's see. Uh -oh. Four of Wands. Ooh, okay. So somebody here, I feel, is for sure getting very serious right now about their, their foundation. Now, the Four of Wands is here with the Five of Pentacles and the Sun. There definitely could be like a family court situation, child support, divorce, separation, somebody being kicked out of a home. Whatever the case may be, the Seven of Swords is here and the Nine of Pentacles. I just feel like somebody has been hiding money or trying to block the flow of money. Okay, they could be using children as a pawn or excuse, doesn't have to be. Or this is somebody whose finances have been blocked since a child. I, the moon almost popped out. This could be somebody could have cancer in their chart, Nine of Swords. Yeah, somebody may be feeling some kind of stress here, anxiety about something coming out because this this moon and nine of swords is clarifying the five of pentacles. Hmm. I feel like somebody is confused because I just saw the two of swords in the reverse. Ooh, Empress and the two of cups. Yikes. Okay. This is another reading. All, all I've been getting is backfire energies. 
the Empress usually um, is divine feminine energy, could be any sign, but the card itself, the energy is represented by Libra and Taurus. I usually don't call out signs like that. So I don't know why I'm doing it. Now. I usually don't call out signs like this, but it must be important to something or someone. But you have the Empress here in the Two of Cups. But something here has been done in the night. This could have been something uh, with the subconscious mind, um, emotions, something hidden, something that was taboo, okay? Something with the moon. Somebody could be experiencing insomnia. But I feel like somebody right now is losing sleep because of a feminine a relationship. You have the king of wands here with the four of wands. Something is being balanced out. The two of cups is out here with, and the temperance and the sun. Something is being balanced out. Four of swords. Somebody is healing and going towards wish for their, their happiness, wish fulfillment. And then you have the hermit. Virgo energy. It's like somebody is about to pop out. Nine of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. I, there's a revelation. Something is being revealed. It's like something is being revealed. Um, Nine of Wands, if somebody has like I don't know if this is um I just keep, I mean I keep hearing pop out okay so it's like somebody is waiting on a person to come out it feels like somebody is waiting on somebody to say something or respond to something but a person is holding back I, I think for some of you you need to be mindful of your reactions and responses at this time it feels like something is poking at a person in hopes that it will bring them out because this 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 hermit card here is surrounded by a lot of and this is anxiety that I, I pick up on the four of swords the nine of wands that's paranoia, fear. Somebody is holding on, though. Being very resilient. I feel like maybe this is you by being this wounded warrior energy. Four of swords. Some of you, you could be really tired right now. Some of you also, you could be feeling restless. Like, it may be hard for you to rest. Which is why I said before, you need to ground yourself. Some of you need to get out in the sun. Somebody could have even like a vitamin D deficiency or something like that. I'm also getting too because we are in October. Fall, we're moving into fall. Seasons is changing. The time is about to change. Seasonal depression is a thing. A lot of people experience seasonal depression going into the holidays. Okay, so if you know that you kind of struggle with that, make sure that you are taking your supplements, you're resting, retreating, and really taking care of yourself. Yeah, do something creative and fun to make yourself happy. It's something here. I don't know what it is. It's something about this, this hermit card that is really throwing me. Why is this hermit here? Wow. At the bottom of this deck is the hermit in the reverse. And I just saw 1111. The hermit, this, this deck is upside down. But you have the hermit, the queen of cups, the queen of wands. This is two or three people gathering together to do something could be feminine energies why, why look judgment oh judgment and the hermit scorpio and virgo what is wait a minute something i don't like something about this, this virgo energy I'm, I'm kind of stumped by it because it's something this somebody is cloaking themselves with this hermit energy. Look at that magician. Somebody is cloaking themselves. Look, page of wands, but it came out in the reverse. Here's the Empress, the strength card, and the Knight of Pentacles. Here is the lovers and the star. 
The wheel of fortune is in the reverse. The devil. Okay, hold on. Page of wands in the reverse. So somebody is not taking action or they can't take action. The page of wands in the reverse to me also is somebody who, like page of wands upright is exciting news. Somebody is not receiving exciting news, good news. The page of wands in the reverse is also to the type of person who is immature. Um, wands is action. It's, and I just said something about reactions and responses. Make sure you're not in this energy of, of being immature about a situation and how you react or respond because it definitely feels like there's something out here that could, could tick you off. Mm. This Nine of Pentacles here. It's like something is getting out of control. Then you have the strength and the empress. I, I'm here. I just heard the word fortitude. Your strength and fortitude, especially your divine feminine, is very important right now. <laughs> when you see this card, it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Slow down. Somebody needs to slow down. Slow your roll now. <laughs> That's what I'm here. Slow your roll now. <laughs> because you have here the star and the lovers. And the empress is out here. This empress here, the lovers, somebody, the star, the empress, there's a lot of creative energy here. This could also be a person that's on a platform. The star usually is like your, your you know, star quality, a stage, platform, um, public. And then you see the hermit here, like somebody is looking at their laptop, investigating something. Watching, monitoring, but the wheel of fortune is in the reverse here with the devil behind it, and then the queen of cups. Page of swords. Yeah, somebody is watching something. Now we have three pages, and these are not in this particular day, these pages are not like in good energy. This is more of a, like the shadow attribute of these energies. This page of swords, whatever they are doing to watch and monitor or to sit down into me, it's coming back. And then this page of cups, it's like somebody is shocked because, and they lost an offer or an offer isn't being accepted. Yeah, and look at this magician. This person, they're bored. Somebody is, is waiting on something to manifest or they're bored. And the moon card. The moon is now out here twice. Cutting the deck. It is some kind of attack here that's happening. Page of Pentacles. Somebody is holding on to some. Look at that. Three pages. What the heck is what? Four pages. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Page of Swords, Page of Wands. What? It's a page from every suit. And they're all shadow aspects. This, this isn't your typical Page of Pentacles that speak. So, in other words, this would be like in the reverse. This isn't like a Page of Pentacles that's coming with good news. No. This Page of Pentacles is, is holding on. For dear life to something. And if you have to hold on to something with your feet like that, you're obviously afraid of losing something. This page of Pentacles, I don't know if somebody is holding on to a secret. They're holding some money or information back. But then the page of cups here, the way this is. Now 
They somebody the, the fish is out of the cup. Somebody isn't receiving an offer or whatever this is. Page of Swords. It's like Page of Swords in the reverse. There's four pages. This is a very, very immature, childish energy. Now, somebody could have four kids. <laughs> Three or four kids. Because the five, like I said, this could have to do with a connection or marriage, commitment. With this Page of Pentacles being like this, somebody could be losing a home. Page of Swords. It's like somebody is being bombarded with energy or information. Swords, this information, communication. And this communication that somebody is receiving with the Page of Wands is pretty much like a Page of Wands in the reverse. Is It's not good, good news. There's no good news. There's no stability. This is not good, whatever this is. So somebody is receiving information that's not good. Somebody could be receiving some bad, some, some not so great information too about their children. Now, I don't know if this is a part of a divorce, divorce decree, family court, whatever this is, but if somebody was hoping to gain something from a situation because of children, it's not going to go according to the plans that they, they had. Let me see. Yeah, and then you have the four of pentacles with four pages here. This seems like um, I keep getting family court. Somebody was happy, the ace of wands, to have kids with somebody perhaps. And they may have thought that that had something like in the bag. But something is being investigated. I don't want you to just see the, the synchronicity. Yeah, the four of pentacles here and the four of swords. Four, uh, four of pages. Excuse me. This is, I feel like this is four. Somebody has at least like four, maybe four kids. And with the, the hermit and the nine of wands here, and look, here's the nine of wands and the nine of cups. So somebody could have somebody could have a set of twins. At least one, possibly. I don't know. I'm gonna just sit this over here. This is a whole situation. I don't know if somebody has a blended family, they're separate. I had a reading a few weeks ago. It was like six pages came out in the reading and everything was doubling up. I don't know if this is like a, a set of twin siblings who both have had a set of twins or if you have like a set of twin flames who, have, who are having twins. I don't know what this, what this is, but whatever this is, it to me, it's not... The news, the communication, the offer, something here is not right. This could be somebody's ex-wife or the mother of their children that is investigating and looking into a, a situation, possibly with this divine feminine, because the divine feminine empress is here with the lovers and the star. I, and I don't even like to use the word, the, the term baby mama, but that's, this is like some... Baby mama drama. Um, it, it is. The son. Somebody here is stressed out. Because, look, five of pentacles. The mom and the four kids have been left out. This person is stressed out because there is an empress here going into a connection. Possibly with this king of wands. That somebody once had a family and a, a foundation with. Somebody could have a child on the way. Let's see. Clarify the sun. Mm -hmm. This empress here could have a child on the way or will have a child. Look, the hierophant. 
So somebody is going into, and this has been coming out every other day. The world. With the Knight of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Five of Swords, there has to be a peaceful resolution here for somebody to move forward. And I feel like this Knight of Pentacles is wrapping up a cycle and they're trying to do this peacefully. This Knight of Pentacles, this possibly this master, they're trying to move forward with the Five of Swords being in the reverse. The Five of Swords in the reverse is like, there shouldn't be any type of conflict. Like, let's be fair about this. This is like a family court situation or something. Yeah, and the Ten of Wands. The Queen of Wands and the Strength card. The Hierophant. I feel, it's like right now, for some of you, if you're about to be with a masculine who has kids from a previous marriage or relationship, it's going to take some strength because there is some burdens here coming with this person. Somebody here had a full life with somebody. House, car, kids, all of that. If you let this person into your, your life, you choose to have a life with this person, Somebody isn't going to be happy about it. I'll just put it that way. Look, burdens here, Queen of Cups. Look at this Leo, strength card. Doesn't have to be a Leo, but this here, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Hierophant, Taurus. This person here, they're holding on to this masculine because without the masculine, they feel like it's too many burdens. The Hierophant is somebody who... It's traditional. Somebody here have a traditional family life. Somebody is like, no, 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 no. Bring the alarm. Like, no, you're not going somewhere to be happy elsewhere. It's kids here. <laughs> like somebody's like, oh no. Eight of Pentacles. Death card, Eight of Pentacles. And look, the Eight of Swords. I took everything keeps doubling. So you have the eight, eight, nine, nine, four, four. With four. Oh. Virgo. Four, four. Nine, four. Four, four. Four, four. Empress, lovers, the star, the eight of swords. Justice, seven of wands, and then the emperor. Justice here is Somebody is fighting, putting up a fight, asking for protection. Somebody may ask for an order of protection from a masculine. This is some real drama here. But you know, um, this is so strange. Scrolling on social media, I just literally read, saw like a, a clip of somebody talking about Jay-Z and Beyonce. Jay-Z and Beyonce have twins. Jay Beyonce is a Virgo. And they were saying that they actually did have, I guess, like a prenuptial agreement that Beyonce would receive, after 15 years of marriage, Beyonce is set to, she will receive $5 million for each child that she has. Now, what I'm seeing here, you have the King of Wands, the Four of Wands, you have the Empress and the Two of Cups, but somebody here is losing sleep and very upset about a Two of Cups situation. Now, this Empress could, could be somebody's wife, ex-wife, or the mother of their children, or it could be a Divine Feminine, but so now we have the Empress and the Emperor out here. 
But the justice card and the seven of wands, somebody is going to court fighting this emperor. Yeah. They're going to fight this emperor. And they're fighting this emperor because this emperor is going into a connection. With somebody else that this emperor could, with the sun card, could be expecting a child with. So somebody right now could have three kids. Eventually, they may have a fourth. So somebody could have found out that their significant other or their ex is expecting a child with somebody else. I don't know if these people are already divorced or separated or what, but this is causing like a major shake up and showdown here. Temperance and the Wheel of Fortune. The Fool. It's a new beginning here. Somebody is taking a leap of faith. So the masculine energy is very quiet in this reading, but this masculine may be saying, well, it's they're going through an awakening and if somebody wants to fight them or something, they're like, okay. Because the tower is in the reverse. I feel like somebody is no longer afraid of change. It's an inevitable ending here. It's uh, something is being eclipsed out. Ten of swords. The worst of the worst is here. Somebody has hit rock bottom. Somebody is not fighting for a situation anymore. It doesn't matter about the, the, the kids, the house, the dog, the car, the business. Somebody is moving in a different direction. So now somebody is like, well, I'll just fight you or I'll, I'll take something from you. I'll, you know, I'll go in somebody, Ace of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords. It's about the money. Seven of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Seven of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody could have been hiding money. But you see something here? Look at how these cards line up. The Knight of Cups. It's a, it's a woman here. Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Okay? Underneath that, though, is the Queen of Swords. Somebody went into a situation for money. And something here was not... It wasn't it wasn't done in good faith. It wasn't honest. Somebody wasn't completely honest about something. Because here's the Ten of Swords. Yep. Ace of Swords. That's the truth. And something, a truth is coming out now. There could be a paternity issue here too. Heavy emphasis here on children. There is a, a mother figure here, an elder in this car, and then a young woman and a child. This Queen of Swords, this person has told this Knight of Cups something about family, about money, security, and stability, and somebody has held on to a secret. Let me tell you what I'm really getting here, just straight up. Somebody has like a mom, a sister, an elder. Somebody has told a person, you need to go towards a person who has money, a person who's willing to accept your kids or pretty much like fund your life and your, and your future with these kids. Remember in these cards here. This person has laid down most likely and they have probably birthed it for somewhere between three to five kids. And this person has been holding on dealing with whatever they had to for wish fulfillment. I agree. And th this is what somebody was taught or told that they should do. And they did. And I feel like it worked. It worked. Now, somebody, this Knight of Pentacles, somebody who was once moving really, really slow, is picking up the picking up the pace, trying to get out of the situation. And this person is like, no. They're trying to hold this person back because this person may want to go towards someone that they feel they are a better match for. So somebody's like, but you have these kids here. 
Somebody could be saying that the kids are acting out in school or something. Because all these pages are in the reverse. This was all a plan, though, and it's being exposed. Somebody is being exposed. I really feel for trapping somebody with kids. 